Hi there, Stephen from SteadyMaker here. I am proud to announce the launch of our latest product. This is a mechanical stabilizing handle for smartphone stabilizers. We are calling this the Bob M handle. If you remember, we announced the launch a few months back of our Bob Buster handles. This is a two-handled, larger, spring-mounted version of these handles. Why do we call it the Bob Buster? Well, when people use stabilizers, they tend to bob the stabilizer up and down when they are moving forward with it. This is generally unavoidable because of the motion of our bodies when they're moving up and down with the stabilizer. So we designed these handles based on classic Steadicam models that are spring mounted, that counterbalance and counteract the up and down bob. If you notice with this handle, it has a spring in it and the spring will stop the up and down bobbing or bouncing as you move forward with your stabilizer. This is a one handled variety it will support weights from 400 to 1300 grams. And it is a very simple setup and construction, which we will go through in this video. So I have my stabilizer here. It is a Xeon Smooth 4. This is one of the newer Xeon stabilizer models. At the moment it is switched off and the stabilizer is in the vertical position. Now, we're not going to go through the different models of stabilizer handles. Our handle is designed to support almost all smartphone stabilizers. The reason is, is because it has an extendable ring at the bottom, which will attach to your cell phone stabilizers. So when you receive your Bob M handle, you will receive two items. The first one is the handle itself. It comes in three parts. You have your small ring mounted attachment. This will attach to your smartphone stabilizer. The central part is the spring mounted arm. This will counteract the bobbing that I talked about earlier. And the last part is the handle. The second attachment we're calling the tactical attachment. This will give you more mounting options and will also allow you to use two handed uh, stabilization with your smartphone stabilizer. One of the rules with stabilizers is the more mounting points you have and the more places you can attach yourself to the setup, then the more stable your setup will be. You have the option of adding two handles to your setup. Now it's very simple. All you do is attach your Bob M handle to the handle of your smartphone stabilizer. You have two small red screws here. You adjust them to different uh, widths, basically, to attach to different cell phone stabilizer handles. Slides up onto the handle, and then I just tighten the two red screws. When I tighten the two red screws, this will secure my Bob M handle to my cell phone stabilizer. Now I have the cell phone uh, stabilizer attached to my Bob M handle. There is one other adjustment you can make. There is a large black screw at the top of your Bob M handle. This is to adjust the springiness of your spring. In other words, how loose or tight the spring is in your cell phone stabilization setup. Now this is personal preference. There is no right or wrong answer about how tight or how loose this spring can be. It's down to your own trial and error testing. What I suggest is you do some test shoots and then you adjust it to be tighter or looser in your Bob M handle. Ideally, what you want is that the stabilizer and your smartphone is heavy enough that the Bob M handle is straight and level. At least the screw attachment, the arm part is straight and level 
so that it will stabilize the up and down bounce. The other adjustment you can make is simply adjusting the handle. You can adjust your handle to the up or down position. This is useful if you're doing any complex adjustments or moves or you're shooting inverted. In other words, you're shooting in very extreme angles. You can put it out to the side, you can put it underneath, or you can put it to the top. Any way you particularly prefer to shoot. There is also two extra mounting adjustments you can use. There is a screw thread at the top and at the bottom of the main handle. This will be useful for mounting any other accessories you have, such as external lights, microphones, or any other camera equipment. This can screw in to your handle attachments uh, so you can increase your accessory your options or mounting options for your stabilizer. In this case, we are going to use the other accessory that comes with your Bob M handle, and this is what we call the tactical attachment. Now the tactical attachment gives you a couple of options. It gives you somewhere to mount extra accessories. It also gives you a tripod stabilizer mount. If I open up the tripod mount, you see that this gives you a secure base that you can place your stabilizer and the Bob M handle when you come between shooting. This is a personal preference. You can shoot with or without this tactical attachment. So I'm just simply going to screw in the stabilizer attachment until it's tight and secure at the bottom of your Bob M handle. Now, if you look, you have a dual handle setup. So this is for two hand handed operation. This gives you a little more stability when it comes to using your Bob M handle with a stabilizer. This is especially useful if you have slightly heavier uh, solutions or setups, or you need more mounting points, or you want somewhere to put down your stabilizer between shots. Uh, if I show you, you can adjust the tripod base and then set down your stabilizer. And this is good for if you're doing long exposure or if you're doing some hyperlapse uh, videography with your stabilizer mount, you can now set it down on your secure tripod mount and use it on a table or any other flat surface. Or when you use it for a shoot, you close the tripod and readjust the handle and now you're back to a two-handed operation. This is entirely optional. It depends on your personal preference, your setup, what you feel more comfortable with. I personally prefer to use a one-handed setup. The reason is there are many options for the Xeon Smooth 4 that are actually built into the stabilizer handle. So I like to use the Bob M handle with one hand and then with the other hand, I can adjust the settings on the stabilizer handle for secure uh, one-handed use. But you can use it one-handed or two-handed down to your personal preference. I think you'll find it's a good difference because of stabilizing the up and down bounce that you use when you're moving around. Especially with a lighter stabilizer setup like this, you'll find a lot of movement is an up and down bounce. So this is ideal for stabilizing that type of movement.